What's going on guys? So we are still here at Alliance in Elkhart, Indiana. This is their PDI facility, so pre-delivery inspection facility. This is essentially where their RVs go after they've been towed around town, gone through their, their road trip, road test drive to shake everything loose to see what, what falls off, and then they send it to PDI, which is kind of a bold thing to do because you would think, well, maybe let's PDI it, then take it out. and. But then what you end up doing is you end up kind of doing double work. This gives them the ability to knock everything out, do the road test, bring it in here and see what it's all about. I got Joe back with me, Joe Martin. He is a, what is your title here? I don't think uh, I asked last time. Quality manager. Quality yeah. manager. And that means a lot for Alliance because everything about their product, they, they want to be focused around quality and value. And they do a lot of really cool things. But he's gonna give me a quick tour of their PDI facility, but more importantly, explain to me what they're looking for here, what they're trying to accomplish. So. Um, this is going to be an interesting video, especially for those of you who are in the market for an RV and you want to at least see what the folks at Alliance do to get their unit ready for delivery. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right. So I got Joe here with me. We literally just wrapped up towing that Valor with that Ram. So if you didn't go see that video, or if you didn't see it, go back and check it out because we go over the drive that these things are taken on before they hit the PDI facility and they're inspected and, and everything's made right. So Joe, kind of explain where we're at and, and you got more than one of these types of facilities, but explain what's going on here. Yeah, so this is the PDI center for plant one. Uh, plant one is our Valor plant. Um, each plant has their own dedicated PDI center. Uh, it's actually attached to the plant, uh, literally through that wall, through a door right there, you can access the production plant. So um, that's what makes this so valuable. We run every single unit through the string, uh, stringent uh, PDI process, every single one. Every single one has to hit the scales or at the end of the, of the uh, process over here. And um, what it allows us to do is fine tune the unit to a dealership ready standard, um, as well as drive change back to the production line um, for future units coming down the line. Great. So uh, like he mentioned, there's a PDI process area of all of their production facilities. This happens to be the one for the Valor, which is their toy hauler, and arguably the smallest because you produce less Valors than you do Paradigm and Avenues, correct? Well, that, that's correct. And as well as um, this was our very first building. Okay. Um, and every building gets a little bigger, a little better. Gotcha. <laughs> as, gotcha. We, as we learn and grow and things of that nature. So um, yes, we've uh, this facility is good for what we're using it for right now. Okay. Do we yep. want to step on board of Valor and just kind of walk me through the mentality behind the PDI process? Yeah, um, they're done producing over here for the day. So we'll walk up to the second one. Okay. This will be the first one in the morning. They, they, uh, all the systems would be done. So we do systems online and then we also do systems, which is all the electrical systems, all the water systems, the gas systems, ch doing pressure checks, things of that nature. Uh, we do that online and over here. Okay. So if there's a leak, we're going to find it. <laughs> right. That's a good thing. And you guys do things interestingly different with valve placement and things like that. So you have shutoffs and you have capabilities that, you know what, I hate to say this, but a lot of RV manufacturers are now copying yes. some of the things that you guys have done. Well, you know, that's what we've kind of, we're, we're driven to do is to change the industry. Um, it's all about the customer. It's all about the RVer and whatever we can do, no matter what brand you buy, um, we want you to have a good camping experience. And if that means they have to change, the other manufacturers have to change to make that happen, we're okay with that. That's a solid mentality. So, awesome. Um, let me go get the lights on in this thing and we'll okay. take a quick walk around it. Um, so essentially they get the same treatment over here as it does online, just in a smaller scale. So the PDI is essentially a QC team that goes around and uh, they'll retape the units. They'll, for any, you know, uh, paint issues, graphic issues, um, things of that nature. Um, they, you know, make sure awnings work, make sure um, that we're doing, following all the right steps for Got the it. build process over here. Um, so go in here and we'll turn on this battery disconnect here. And Okay, so we can go inside. We got some lights on now. Um, obviously, the units get fully opened up, fully inspected. All the enclosures get opened up, tested. 
This is where you want to make it ready for when it arrives at a dealership, right? Right. When it, when it leaves our final door out here, it is spotless. It is 100% um, functioning and ready to roll. Great. So, yep. So, uh, but yeah, we literally, um, the PDI process entails uh, the placing of the POP as well. Not only just checking over the unit, uh, we check all the cabinet doors, all the cabinet drawers. Uh, we make sure the reefer works. We make sure all the TVs work, stereo. Um, you name it. It is a full function test as well as a full cleaning, a full detailing. All of that is right. done in this area here. So, um, Can you give us an example of something you might typically run into that needs to be resolved? Even if it's minor, like what are, what are some things that you might typically find out? So let's just say a loose wire. And a loose wire could happen when it gets pulled from the production line mm -hmm. and, get, and gets set down out here. It's possible that there, a crimp wasn't good on a, on a connector or something like that. So that will be found here because they test all the all of the systems. Um, they'll so they'll be able to find out um, if there's a short in a line electrically wide. Mm -hmm. You know, speaking. Um, so cosmetically, you know, if there's a scratch on a piece of fascia or a scratch on a door or something like that, they're gonna see it. They're gonna find it. They're gonna call it to someone's attention. Okay. So all of that. This is just a whole other set of eyes going through a whole other set of quality mm -hmm. before it leaves our door. Well, and something I always like to say as well is. You guys can do all of that here, and I get it. And outside, what do you think the temperature is outside right now? 39 to 40, somewhere it's in that range. It's pretty dang cold, it's pretty and dang it's very cold. wet. Yep. Probably 100% humidity, because it's pretty much raining outside right. as well. Right, When this hits the road, and it goes down to Florida, mm -hmm. where right now Florida might be 100 degrees outside, Right. 80% humidity, sun is just blasting and this thing will turn into essentially like a, fr a refrigerator right now mm -hmm. into a microwave once it gets down there right things change they do wood expands do. and contracts things happen and i like to explain this because sometimes there's a perception that just because you guys do an incredible pdi here <laughs> mm -hmm. and you make sure everything's good it doesn't mean that you you're, you're not testing it in an oven right now right and once it goes down and it sits on a dealership lot for a few days a few weeks a few months and that heat starts beaming on it hitting things adhesives when they're applied cold do funky things when it gets warm outside right. trim same thing uh crown molding all of that stuff starts to expand and contract wood in general yeah starts acting very strangely the the way things follow grain and the way things move change so it's not saying that when the unit leaves here that there was anything wrong with it the unit everything yeah. could have been absolutely perfect when it left but the trip down to where it's going depending on the climate the conditions and what it goes through can lead to issues that you just can't find Absolutely. in this facility. Absolutely. You know, I, I, and I always like to emphasize that because there's a lot of adhesives used in RVs. There's a lot of wood used in RVs. And I think it's so important to understand that you may walk a dealership lot and you're like, well, I went through that Valor, I went through that whatever Montana, or I went through that Coachman. And why did I see that trim coming loose? Why did I see this? because there's there's a lot of things that can happen between now this temperature this climate that we're currently at where we're wearing right. sweaters and coats right down to south texas or down to florida where everyone's wearing t-shirts and shorts because it's so hot outside right so i just want to bring that up because <laughs> i know people think that sometimes well if it left there in such great shape why did it arrive at my dealership with issues right you know yeah so. and that that is uh that is an, an honest issue i mean that's uh that does happen so mm -hmm. obviously we, we try and store our products in a quality controlled environment mm -hmm. uh, so we can limit the amount that that yeah, happens. Yep, yep. So, but but uh, you guys, what I've seen though is you guys have a great emphasis on quality that, sh that shows whenever you walk through these units and you see what they're doing and you see that when it leaves here, everything is really nice. It's clean. It's the way you would want to have it as an owner. Mm -hmm. But then depending on the 1200 miles it has to travel and the temperature variance and all of that that, that takes place along the way and the bumps and the potholes and, and the avoiding accidents and possibly running off the road and taking it to your mom's house for a couple of days while you're delivering it, all these things can impact the, pro the quality of the product where it arrives. And it doesn't mean it was bad, it just means things happen along the way, temperature and all of that. Anyways, that's right. my rant, but let's get <laughs> so. back to PDI. So yeah, so again, um, we've got different stations in PDI again that uh, different team members do different things, but it is a thorough, everything from under the bed into the mm -hmm. closets. Um, I mean, just making sure everything is tight 
everything is clean everything is ready for the dealership and ready for the customer so as you can see we have some red tape right there for that that blind mm -hmm. uh, so that blind will be fixed yep. tomorrow and uh, but you know what's crazy is I've been to other factories and it's it's almost comical sometimes how much red tape you see hanging sure in areas and I've seen maybe like three pieces in this Valor which is pretty dang impressive to be honest yeah with you. so well like I said on, online we also have a very good quality control program and then it moves over here um, and what they do here is they tape in station one and mm -hmm. then they try and clear their tape by station two so it can be nothing but cleaning the last end of station two up to station one is just a full-on detail oh that's good so, so this is a multi-stage process it is, this is okay and it that's is. different than i've seen sometimes it's just yep. one spot and they have a crew going in there doing everything yeah no, no we have stations nice. yeah this is just like an assembly line over here as well is it different so, eyes seeing it too so it is folks. yeah uh we've had a team as strong as eight over here and as obviously the times are slowing down a little bit I, our team is four or five strong over at plant one right now and mm -hmm. uh so yeah several different eyes um and we try and break the task down to smaller smaller amounts for each person so they mm -hmm. can really focus on those sections. Oh, well, that makes sense. So, well, man, I really appreciate it. Um, it. It's so cool to see this side of it because a lot of people don't. They, they only see what they see at the dealership. Right. But to actually see what goes into this is pretty amazing. And you guys have given customer tours too, right? If oh, a customer yeah, wants yeah. to buy a unit, they can come and see all yep, this for every themselves. Week. Every week. So that is yep. really, really cool. I appreciate you guys giving me this exclusive access to it though. Absolutely. But this is awesome. And I really enjoy seeing this process because this is essentially that last step before it goes probably to a, a brief holding yard where it will be picked up by a hotshot driver and drug out to you know all the different ends of the country to, right. to sit on a dealership lot until somebody comes out and buys it yes sir well joe again i really appreciate it super super cool to to kind of understand this process a little bit more in depth and the multi-stage portion the multi-bay where this thing's going to actually be seen by different people along the pdi is probably the most important thing it is. because it, it makes it, it so if somebody doesn't do something somebody else can catch it right which is great yeah anyways joe again thank you so much for your time thank you and uh, yeah, we might have some more stuff to shoot out here. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.